seen some snow on the peninsula and surrounding areas? Yeah, that's right. Hey, we got some spotty lowland snow. North slopes the Olympics out into perhaps the Hood Canal, even San Juan's and A lot of that snow is melting as these temperatures rise above the freezing mark. We had that total lunar eclipse overnight. Such a beauty. This is a quick snapshot of what we saw overnight. Temperatures today. 10 degrees below average. Remember how just a couple weeks ago we skyrocketed to 88 in Seattle? Far cry at this point. Spotty early snow wrapping up here over the next hour or so. Drier and sunnier for everybody later today. And those chilly temperatures are ongoing all week. Radar depicts a very quiet scene, but surrounding cool scene right now, that's where we could be dealing with the rain snow mix. A very isolated showers at best. Wind advisory until 6 o'clock today. Maybe more minor damages and power outages. Bellingham, San Juan's. This wind advisory for 50 mile per hour gusts for the north coast through 10 a.m. this morning. Overnight temperatures are plunging in a major way this week. Coldest point going to be tomorrow morning at 31 in Seattle and hovering around freezing throughout the rest of this week. Futurecast this morning through 8 a.m. Look at the isolated showers, but most of us were staying absolutely shower free. We'll have some cloudy skies between 10 and noon with increasing sunshine for later on today. So it will be chilly, but at least we'll have an abundance of sunshine for later on this afternoon. Look at how cool we'll be, everyone. This is just mind boggling. I, you know, Mother Nature, it's been so extreme, a whole roller coaster situation, chaotic, as we might call it. Mid 40s across the greater Seattle area today. That's also going to take us into Tacoma, Olympia, Centralia, North Sound today. It is going to be windy. I hate to say it. These highs in the low to mid 40s will feel much cooler as we factor in those northeasterly winds along the coast. Hey, the warm spots, a balmy 48 degrees for Aberdeen, Long Beach and Canada Beach today. These overnight lows are going to stay constantly in the 30s all week long. High temperatures not even making it into the 50s. Look at the long range models through the end of November, uh, maybe a couple of 50s out there, but primarily the 40s. Something we do have to watch early fog freezing funk Thursday, otherwise dry with sunshine from beginning to end. We got you covered on this current tips up next. I'll send it back to you.